holes. Remember we said metal panels don't leak. It's the holes and the joints. So avoid holes and joints every chance you get. How about a dormer without a valley? How would you do a dormer with no valley? Or remember I showed you the seam clamps in the earlier in the, in the slide this morning? You just, this is just a piece of gingerbread. You just prefab it, paste it on the seam clamps. You never break the plane of the roof. Water runs right under that thing, keeps going. All that dormer was for was a little soil stack, to hide a little soil stack in there. So you use your deck tight flashing on your soil stack, your, your pipe flashing, and then paste the dormer on. It's just a piece of gingerbread. The water runs right under the thing. The plane of this roof is never broken with a valley. Internal built-in gutter uh, detail, uh, not bad. It, it looks kind of crummy in this slide, but it cleans up real nice. This is lined with EPDM rubber and then a pre-finished cap trim on it that, that matches the roof panels. And in a northern climate, the black rubber lining uh, helps to keep it thawed and, and, and ice-free. Uh, so it's a good detail. Uh, uh, I mean, as, as badly as I don't like built-in gutters, this is the best way that I know to do them. And it's not metal. I mean, unless you're going to get really, really carried away with soldered seam copper and so on and so on, then I do not recommend building these gutters with sheet metal linings. Put, a, put an EPDM lining in there and be done with it. Much, much better way to go.